So Black Friday is coming. It is coming. And I know that you've got this great plan. They made you send the other. You're going to do a site-wide discount on everything and send it to everybody. And then, oh, oh, you're going to extend that sale for like the week after Cyber Monday. And you're going to get all of these new people. And then look, I get it. You're super exciting. You feel super smart. You feel like you know what you're going to be doing. It's really easy and it's super simple. You're going to execute that and that's going to solve everything. But look, it's actually not a huge liability to success and there's a reason why most big brands don't do it let's dive into why a site-wide discount on black friday or any sales period is actually a terrible idea let's go so first off Thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate it. we are over a thousand subs in just a few months and that is phenomenal and, and it's like dozens coming in every day i love it i like clearly this is resonating with you all so i really really appreciate it second um i just want to thank everybody in the disruptor community it continues to grow every few days there's more and more people there you can join it if you go to facebookdisruptor.com i feel like i gotta get those shout outs because like you know why would i not be doing those things it's just it feels like what you got to do. And honestly, if I'm going to tell you all how to maybe get some stuff done, I should probably take some of my advice. And part of that is if you have the attention, take advantage of it. So first off, thank you very much. If you find this stuff to be valuable, go ahead and hit down here so you can subscribe. Comment if you have any questions. Reply back if you're seeing this on any socials. And if you really do find value in this, it would mean the world to me. If you could share this with somebody. And when you do share, tag me in that. And I'll gladly give you 20% off any of the ebooks from facebookdisruptor.com. In depth, deep dive manuals for your success so you can see more success and less stress, more time in your life and more money in your pocket. That's what Facebook honestly is, it delivers on their promise. And it's kind of because you should keep things simple. And that's what we're going to really get to today. But also, working hard is a liability to a machine learning success. And we're gonna to get to a lot of that. But anyway, today, what we are getting into is site-wide deals. Why is it a bad idea? And what should you do instead? We'll get to a lot of that other stuff. But first off, site-wide deals. Why is it a bad idea? Number one, site-wide deals, generally speaking, do not improve the cost on customer acquisition for new customers over any other promotion. So as far as the idea of bringing in new customers to your store, it's not as good or sometimes worse than other choices that you can make. So if you're providing a site-wide sale, you're not bringing in new people, well, that gets us to our second point. Who do you get? You get existing customers. You pull forward sales. Now, if somebody was going to buy in a month, but they buy today because it's 30% off the whole site, what do you get? Well, you get revenue today, a nice volume of revenue, but at a 30% lower profit margin. The point is making more money in volume today, but producing lower profit in aggregate is actually a pretty bad business idea. A lot of times people focus in on site-wide sales because they're like, well, we're just going to ramp up everything. It's going to be super easy. We're going to get a ton of sales. And you do. From people who would have already bought from you at full price had you let them. There's another reason why this is a big issue, and it's on the reduction of your average order value. When you get less money out of every sale, a site-wide sale, 30% off everything in the store, you actually make less money on the average order. Your average order value goes down. Now, if you're paying money to get sales in Black Friday, what also is happening? Everybody else is running a Black Friday sale, so your CPMs are actually higher. So you're paying more money to reach fewer people that you are going to make less profit on, and a lot of them would have bought from you anyway, and in a way that actually brings in new customers worse than other options. And the new customers you get tend to be worse. Because you know what the worst type of customer is for a business? A price conscious one. Someone that is price conscious that is only going to the lowest cost 
is going to whoever has the lowest cost. If you charge them full price next time, they're going to go to your competitor because they're not brand loyal. Now, you might get some brand loyal folks in there and, hey, great. But it isn't the average customer. It's the minority of customers. So if you're paying more money to get less profit on customers who had already either already bought from you before or will probably not buy from you again, or at least at full price, you're setting yourself up for a big liability. And this is where it really comes into play. When you have an audience, a buyer, a customer base, of people who either won't pay full price, won't buy again, or you're not forcing to buy at full price because you run sales so often, what are you doing? You're hurting your lifetime value of your customers, which means you're not even gonna be actively able to scale against your customers, nor develop LTV. And on a bigger issue, because it's a site-wide sale, you have no idea who these people are. You have no idea, well, who is the low quality buyer that just took advantage of the sale versus who's the really good person that I just got? You have no clue. At best, the most insight you're gonna get is, well, this person bought a third time. When did they buy the first time? Was it on a sale? Was the second time on a sale? I'll bet you that person might never buy at full price. Because if you're the kind of person that does a site-wide discount on Black Friday, you're probably the kind of person that does a site-wide discount every six to eight weeks, if not more often. And how often is your customer buying from you? The point is, are you training your customers to respect your product or to take advantage of you? The last point that I want to drive here is one of the biggest other issues we see when we do a site-wide discount is we're not able to learn from what worked and what didn't work. What, did we have a great day because our sales was good? Did we find the right fit? Were we the right impression at that point in time? Did we fit in market need? Who were the customers that came in? Were they incremental? Can we learn from this so that we can do the next sale better is really the insight and hey, next sale should be 35% off. It should be 50% off. It should be 80% off. Let's just acquire a whole bunch of customers. If you're losing money to acquire everybody and the vast majority of them aren't going to buy again and the people that would buy again are only going to come back to you or they're going to take advantage of it when you're handing money out, you're setting yourself up for massive failure and huge struggles. What are you supposed to do? Well, it's actually quite simple. Make dedicated landing pages for your Black Friday campaigns or for any sale campaign. So you can track the buyer whose new purchase came in on just that one time and see, did this person that bought here actually pay full price another time? Probably the answer is gonna be no, unless you go the other side of it as well, which is on Black Friday, you build bundles. You raise the AOV. You provide that person who would normally buy one product at full price to buy two and a half products at the price of two. Why not pull forward their LTV? If the average person buys two and a quarter times and they already bought once, Black Friday could be that time where you get them to buy two, get one free. So you get four sales out of them. Because you get the normal one. Then you get to buy two. So they buy from you three times already. So you've already beaten their average frequency. You've already beaten their LTV. And in reward for that, you're going to give them a free fourth one. But you know what? You got that third and fourth sale that you probably wouldn't have at a much lower price than it would have cost you to get those sales. So you can give away that fourth one because it's cheaper than the customer acquisition cost of getting that person to pay you full price a third or fourth time and you might never have seen that revenue at all anyway. So the point is, Black Friday is actually an opportunity to bring in high quality new customers. Not to let your existing customers abuse you while you fill your business with a bunch of people who don't give a fuck about you that'll reject your email so your email delivery goes down that'll bounce off your website so your seo goes down and they'll ultimately not give a shit about anything you have to do so you know what else happens your facebook ads suffer because people are hitting you as spam hide this i don't care about this advertiser i'm not engaging anymore and what happens then your page score goes down your estimated action rate goes down the cost of acquiring a new customer next time goes up
There's a reason why the people that do this as a best practice are the kind of people that also complain all the time about $50, $100 CPMs and then spike everything at these sales times and then complain about going out of business. You're not setting yourself up for long-term success. You're setting yourself up for failure. So yeah, don't do a site-wide sale for Black Friday. It's basically the worst thing you can do. Oh, that's not true. You can just give everything away. Hi, I'm Charlie. If you love YouTube thinks you might like this video. And here's a playlist here. I wonder what that's going to be. Also, uh, if you really like this stuff, go ahead and subscribe over here. And I'll see you next time on the internet.